Hello everyone, welcome to techtool.com. In this lecture, we will understand problems with concurrent execution. Okay, so we already understood the basics of transaction, and now we know that when we use a single user system, there is no need to manage the transaction because there is only one user who can perform the transaction over it. But when multiple users are accessing the same database, okay then we need to manage the transaction we need to control this concurrency okay so first of all we need to understand that what are the advantages of concurrency okay or concurrent execution of the transaction so we have multiple transactions executing over same database being performed over same database and we need to manage the transaction okay so all these things we are doing to achieve concurrent execution and this concurrent execution has some advantage so what are the advantage of concurrent execution so there is mainly uh, two advantages which we will talk about here so the first one is in increased performance and the resource utilization and as a result of increased performance and resource utilization the waiting time of the processes or we, in general waiting time decreases as these two advantages are great advantage or great deal so we need to go for concurrent execution right so when we go for concurrent execution over the same database we need to manage these executions okay so basically we need to manage transaction and we have already studied that these these transactions has to be managed because we have various chances of getting incorrect data throughout the execution of concurrent transactions so what we will do is as we have to achieve concurrent transaction or we have to manage transaction so before going for managing transactions using various protocols what we need to do is we need to first understand what are the basic problems associated with concurrent executions okay so once we understand the problem then we can find out proper solution okay so in this lecture we will be understanding what are the various problems with concurrent executions so the first one which we will study is lost update problem as we can understand from the term itself that we are losing update okay so let's say we have transaction t1 and t2 okay who is being performed over a database then as per this problem what happens is that the update done by transaction t1 is lost due to the overriding operations of t2 okay so let's write it down so the lost update problem is that when update made by one transaction let's say t1 is overridden by another transaction t2 okay so th the update made by this transaction is lost that's why we call it lost update problem so let's understand this with an example here we have two transactions given in this example and this is the order in which operations are being executed okay and these are the operations belonging to transaction t1 where these are the operations belong belonging to transaction t2 so transaction t1 starts with read operation over a variable x so let's assume in our database we have x for which the value is 100 initially now it performs read operation over x so it will read 100 fine now there is an arithmetic operation it increases the value of x by 10 okay so it increases the value which it has read okay so it will be 110 but remember that it is not written back yet okay so it's just in internally it has incremented the value of x by 10 but it will not reflect here until it is written back which is done later meanwhile before it writes back the value another transaction t2 reads the value okay so it is dirty read it is reading a value which is not yet written back and committed right so these things we will learn later for, for now you understand that this is this transaction t2 is reading a value right here which is not yet written back okay so it will 
again if it is reading the value of x here it will read 100 only okay fine so it is reading 100 now it will decrease the value of 100 uh, uh, decrease the value of x by 20 so it's now 80 but none of the value has been written back now you can see that after this operation transaction t1 performs a write back operation and it writes the value of 110 which was calculated earlier so it writes it 110 here fine and followed by this immediately afterwards transaction t2 writes back the value which it transaction t2 has calculated so it will again write back the value 80 so you can see this operation is completely meaningless okay and whatever update the transaction t1 had done over this variable x is overwritten by transaction t2 okay so this was the update over transaction t1 which is now written back or overridden by transaction t2 okay so this value is incorrect and whatever update was made by t1 is overridden by t2 right so this is a lost update problem right so you can see that whatever update was made by transaction t1 t1 has been overridden by transaction t2 okay fine now the next problem which we can have if we are going for concurrent execution of the transactions is dirty read problem okay dirty read or temporary update dirty read problem occurs when a transaction reads something or the value of a variable which is dirty okay so now we need to def define what do we mean by saying dirty so let's understand this with an example so of course the operation goes in this sequence and first transaction t1 starts with reading the value of x okay so let's again assume that the value of x is 100 now it performs a read so here it will be 100 the, then it updates the value I mean increases the value by 10 so it is 110 but not yet written back now it write, writes it back so this will modify the value and it will become 110 now this value is read by another transaction t2 so it reads the value which is 110 increases the value by 50 so it will be 160 and writes it back so this will be 160 now but you can see the transaction t2 read a value which is updated but not yet committed right so what it is reading is basically a dirty value okay it's reading something which is not yet committed and you can see after it has performed some operation here and wrote back the value of x the transaction t1 fails okay these transactions are independent right so this transaction is being performed and this is also being performed parallelly of course in interleaved manner right because one operation at a time we execute so it has updated the value in the database but it has not been committed yet okay and meanwhile another transaction t2 reads the value you can see it is reading the value and performing some operation and updating right but this transaction t1 fails here so whatever update it had made and the value which was read by another transaction t2 becomes dirty right because this transaction becomes invalid okay it fails here fine and what we read or where the value from which the transaction t2 started operation it became incorrect right so this is the problem of dirty read in concurrent executions of the transaction and we have to control it through the transaction management strategies okay so now the next problem which we can get while executing multiple transactions together is incorrect summary problem incorrect summary problem is also very easy to understand let's say a transaction t1 starts okay and this transaction t1 wants to calculate average salary of employee okay so now what it has to do is it has to read all the tuples 
from the database right so it starts reading from first tuple okay and it is reading up to it has to read up to last tuple of the database fine meanwhile okay let's say a tuple value was 10k meanwhile transaction t2 performs an update over transaction over this database and modifies the value to 12k okay now this transaction t1 finishes the calculation okay and then it displays the average of the salary but think of what he, it has done it has calculated the average over old value of salary right meanwhile some other transaction made some updation over the salary and now whatever has been calculated here is basically incorrect right so the summary or the value which was calculated is ultimately wrong okay that's why we call it incorrect summary problem so let's see a formal example so here we had transaction t1 and t2 and of course operations are executing executing in this direction now transaction t1 wants to calculate salary uh, sum of the salary okay or average of the salary so it starts with calculating sum so initially sum equal to 0 now sum equal to sum plus the salary of first tuple so let's say this is the salary value of first tuple and similarly it starts calculating meanwhile this transaction t1 is hold here and t2 performs a read operation over p okay while the value of p has already been updated okay it has updated the value of p somewhere here now the it reads the value of p which which was actually already read by t1 it's not updating sorry so now uh, p equal to p plus 100 so here transaction t2 is updating value of p that is increasing the value of p and now it is writing it back okay so now the value here which was the total sum which is calculated here is actually 100 less than what it should be right so whatever average will be calculated here it's a wrong value okay it's a wrong value fine so entire summary or entire aggregate function which we wanted to calculate is now wrong just because another transaction came in between and updated a value right so this transaction has to be managed this concurrent execution has to be managed right so this is one of the problem and it is incorrect summary problem fine and the last one is very simple that is unrepeatable read unrepeatable read problem says that when you repeat a read operation over a variable x you will find that the value has been changed what you had read initially okay so it means that the transaction t1 reads the value of x first so let's say it reads the value of x and it finds it 100 now what happens is another transaction t2 another transaction t2 modifies the value of x and it's write the value of x and which is now it's 100 200 okay so now the value of x is 200 right again this transaction t1 performs a read operation and it finds it 200 right so between two reads over a same variable by same transaction the value has been changed right so this is unexpected that's why it says you cannot repeat read over a variable okay unrepeatable read okay so when you repeat a read the value is changed okay I mean the naming is something like this so it's very clear from here that when you repeat the read the value is modified by some other transaction okay so unrepeatable read is if transaction t1 reads an item twice and it finds that the value of item has been changed by some other transaction or it finds that it has been changed then we say that this is 
the problem of unrepeatable read right so we have studied four major problems due to which we need to solve or we need to manage the concurrent execution right so we started with studying lost update problem okay then we studied temporary update or dirty read problem okay followed by that we studied concurrent summary problem and now we have studied unrepeatable read right so that's all for this video see you in the next lecture thanks for watching